Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Siboga TV. And welcome to today's political conversation. And today's political conversation is actually about why there is much rebellion in ODM. Because currently we are experiencing a lot of rebellion within the OTM party, which is actually being read by Raila Amolo Odinga. Even when people are supposed to write letters to explain themselves why they never followed the party aspiration, people don't do that. So there is a big rebellion in Asmio. There is a big rebellion in ODM. Why is this rebellion? That is actually what we want uh, to analyze about. But before we dive deeper and analyze where there is a bigger rebellion in Asmio, and why I also think that Still, we are going to have a major rebellion in Asimio, which will shut Asimio once and for all. And even ODM, we will have another major rebellion within that party, which is actually the, the affiliate of Asimio One Kenya coalition. But before we dive into that, I could request you kindly take a minute or two, subscribe to this YouTube channel, give this video a like, share our video to your friends, and if possible, request them to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And always remember, whenever you subscribe to this YouTube channel, always smash the bell button because once you smash the bell button then youtube can be in the position to notify you whenever we are brought any political content into youtube now let us go back to the topic of the discussion why do you think there is a lot of rebellion within a simio community and that rebellion which is within a Simeo community, has gone deep into parties are affiliated in ODM. For example, there is much a bigger rebellion in ODM as a party. Why do you think that one is like so? The first thing why I think that there is that kind of rebellion is that Raila Molodinga, stature and respect has actually come down because Raila Molodinga has asked for presidency now and again. And because of that, Raila Amolo Odinga has been losing now and again. And he has been saying that his force has been always been stolen. And now very many people are wondering, where are we? And people are tired. And that's why we are experiencing major rebellion in Asimio, and more in particular in ODM. Also, we are experiencing this kind of rebellion mainly because Raila Amolo Odinga is not a person who keeps friends. Raila Amolo Odinga will be with you today, but tomorrow he will betray you. Because before we did our elections, there are very many people who told Raila Amolo Odinga that he should award those people who are royalists. But see what happened. 
Raila Molodinga went forward and he even betrayed people who were very near to him. He even reached a point where he wanted to betray his own lawyer, who is James Orengo. And that's why we are having such a kind of rebellion within ODM and Asimio at large. Another thing is because of the character of Raila Molo Odinga. Many people feel that whenever you are a leader, you must be able to nurture people who are going to take leadership from you as you get older. But I think that is not the case within ODM because ODM is a one-man show. It is a Raila Amolo Odinga party. And that's why if currently somebody tells you who is going to be the leader of ODM, none of you can tell because the person who we expected to be the leader of ODM, Asan Joho, is not seen now nowadays because he has not been given that opportunity. He has not been nurtured to take leadership from Laira Amoro Odinga. Remember, we also used to have people like Ababu Namwamba who were young, energetic, and who wanted to take leadership. But what did the Raila Molo Dinga do to them? He actually ended their political careers until recently when William Samuel Ruto had to go to these people and to bring them back into politics. So Raila Molo Dinga has been known to be somebody who does not nurture what we call leadership within the party because he always wants to be the leader. He always wants to make ODM to be a one-man show. And because of that, that's why we are having this kind of rebellion because as you go to ODM, people think, I cannot grow. And that's why for such a kind of people who want to grow, once they are within ODM, they are looking for a way out so that they can also grow. And another thing why there is a lot of rebellion within ODM, it's because Raila Molodinga does not award royalist. People who are quite royal to him they are not awarded. For example, Babowino was quite royal to Raila Amolo Odinga. He couldn't even go forward to abuse Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta for the sake of Raila Amolo Odinga. But look at Papu Owino currently. And that's why even Papu Owino is actually having a rebellion within because he was not awarded any position after we had finished the elections because at the lowest minimum, Bapowino should have been given something in parliament. He could have been made to be a member in a certain committee, but Bapowino was not made a member. And lastly, because currently there is a big confusion, who is going to take a simio forward? People don't know. Will it be Caronzo? People don't know who is going to take a simio forward. And because of that confusion, even other people, they feel maybe Rela want to come again in 2027 and if that one happened 
they will be also another major rebellion because Kalonzo Musyoka will bull out because he has stood enough with Raila Amolo Odinga. So because of that much confusion, those who are within as Mio, they are looking for the way out so that to go either to the party or to the coalition, which they perceive it as a upper hand, let come the general election. So, I don't know what's your take. Why do you think there is a lot of rebellion in Asimio and in ODM in particular? Please drop your comment in the message section. And if this is this was your first time to pump into this YouTube channel, I request you kindly take a minute or two, subscribe to this YouTube channel, smash the bell button, share our video to your friends, and if they are lovers of politics, then request them to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And with that, I say thank you. May God bless you abundantly.